back in there. And All right, everybody. Come on up. Nice, strong front positions. Good. Go ahead and show respect up front. Step out with your left. Three big deep breaths in. One. Two. Three, good, come on. Can you hop in the back and grab the, the dice? <laughs> All right, so today I wanted to start um, a little bit different with our warm up with our exercises. And um, we're gonna bring back something that everybody always enjoys um, playing around with to get warmed up. And that is our strategy. So, First, we're gonna start with our workout dice and our time. So we've got our red dice with our exercise on it that's gonna choose our exercise. And then we've got our yellow to see how long we're gonna do it. Let's give it a roll. It. Red dice first. And then yellow dice. What do we got? Push up for 15. Push ups. 15 seconds. So. Not you go but the strongest push-ups you have for 15 seconds so here we go and lay down clock starts now move good five more seconds good from Nice job. All right, now let's get our blue dice and our orange dice. So we've got our punches and our kicks and how many we're gonna do. So first we got the blue, then we got the orange. So we have, what did we get? We have our cross and three. So, Everybody get into their neutral bow stance or you get into a fighting stance and this is gonna be our back arm. We're gonna do three on each arm though. So ready, one, two, three, jump switch. And one, two, three, good. Now just to mix it up, just for a little bit more classical training here, I want everybody to hop into their horse stance. So nice strong horse stance. Let's do one round of star blocking sets, starting with the right arm. Ready? Upward, inward, outward, downward, check, pressing palm. Good. Other side. Upward, inward, outward, downward, check, pressing palm. Good. Doubles. Up, in, out, down, check, and palm. Good. All right, back to the orange and the yellow. I'm gonna let this carry toss in this time. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a wild. And we got 30, 30 seconds. Days. So what's our exercise, Miss Carrie? Ooh, I think we're gonna do crunches. All right, crunches. Looks like crunches. Betsy, Johnny, I'm going to crunch you. 30 seconds. Here we go. Start moving. Make sure you're breathing. Out. Lifts those shoulders up. Hands up the whole time. Don't give up. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale as you crunch up. Inhale as you come down. Halfway there. Halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Ugh. I gotta, I gotta work that out now. All right. All right, on to the next word. I'll see you guys next time. Since we're down here, let's get a little bit of a stretch in those, those gaps and back to this work. So everybody, almost in our plank position, the 
this time, you're going to let your arms, your shoulders, everything go the whole way down. I'm going to use the top of my feet. And first, I'm going to push my shoulders and my head up and back as much as I can. Now, I'm going to lift my knees up off the ground. So it's just the top of my feet and my hands pushing down the way. Now, from here, hold it back. Reach over to the left. Reach over to the right. Good. From right here, come on back up. Let's get another round of that star blocking. Ready? Push, let's go. All right. Right arm again. Upward. Inward. Outward. Downward. Check. Pressing ball. Other arm. Upward. Inward. Outward. Downward. Check. Pressing ball. Good. Doubles. Up. In. Out, down, check, pressing palm. Good. We got one more round of blue dice and orange dice. Let's see what we got here. First, the orange. We got a six, and we got a wild card again. Miss Carrie is just a wild, wild sensei today. All right. Let's work on our front kicks. All right. So, left foot in front. Let's do a snap kick and step kick today. So instead of pulling the ball back and punching forward, we're gonna point the toes down and it's gonna make a circle up so that we're hitting up underneath. We're still gonna bend our knees, we're still gonna flamingo first before that kick. Ready, six on the right, six on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, Jump switch. Left side now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice job. Shake that out. Roll the neck. Good. Roll the shoulders. Roll the elbows. Roll the wrists. Roll the hips. Roll the knees. Roll the ankles. And then shake it all out. All right. So that's a good little start to a warm up. I want to look at some advanced or uh, uh, mid range movement today. I want to start by looking at some circles. So the first thing I want everybody to do, I'm going to face the same way you are when you're facing your screen. You can also get a little glimpse of us in, in the mirror. I'm going to start with my left foot in front and my right foot back. Now, this back foot is going to step forward behind me. So my head's going to turn for a split second in time. But I want that head to turn forward. And it's going to be just like my step through when I'm going around behind as fast as I can. And then I'm going to reset that foot back. Here we go. Let's give it a try. And one, around four. Good. Reset. Two, around. Reset. Three, reset, four, reset, five, reset, good. Who got a little bit dizzy on that one? I still get a little bit dizzy, but what I do, every time I turn, when my back turns, watch my head. I want it to turn back around as fast as I can, so I see my targets, and it also keeps me from getting dizzy. All right, whichever leg you have forward, I have my left leg forward. Now I'm going to put my right leg forward, and I'm going to do the same idea. So remember, this leg is going in front of me by going around behind me. So another way that I could do this in super slow motion is by doing a rear crossover. That means that leg's crossing behind me, and then a line. Here we go. Maybe we'll hit that in a second here. Left leg, and one. Good, reset. Two, reset. Three, reset. Four, reset. Five, good. What I'm also doing, if you watch my feet, when I take my step, I'm keeping a little bit that's touching the ground. So I'm not 
completely up in the air that gives me balance. So what can I do with that spin? Well, I can add an upper body movement, an upper body strike movement. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my left foot forward again. And if you end up on the other side, that's all right. We're gonna switch in a second. And we're gonna use our back fist with this. So as we step, we're gonna back fist, reset. Around my back fist, reset. Notice that back leg is going around my back side. Can I still go forward this way? Yeah, but that's a step. That's different from what we're practicing right now. All right, let's give it a try. Five again, ready? One, pow, with my back fist. Reset, guards up the whole time. Two, pow, reset. Make sure your head's turning, your eyes are coming up. Three, reset. Four, boom, reset. Five, pow, good. Now, jump switch. Left is going to be in front this time. I'm sorry, right's going to be in front this time. Or the other leg that you weren't using. So same idea. The arm that I'm using is the same arm that's stepping behind me. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Left arm. One. Pow. Good. Reset. Two. Boom. Reset. Three. Pop. Reset. Four. Boom. Reset. Pop. Pop. Reset. Good. All right. So before we continue on with the circles, let's grab the red and the yellow again. Let's see what we're on. First roll. We got the yellow. Twenty seconds while. Let's get our blood flowing. Let's do some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. All right. Twenty seconds are on the clock. Here we go. Go. Good. Halfway there, make sure you're breathing. I'm slowing down for those of you who are still learning your jumping jacks. It's your full range of motion. You can take this a little bit faster if you want to get a little bit more burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come on up. All right. That brings us back to the blue and the orange. Another round of basics here. What do we got? Jabs, and six again. All right, lucky six with our jabs. So let's get back into your left foot forward again. We're gonna get in our fighting stance. Remember, cross is my front arm. I'm sorry, jab is my front arm, jab, jab, jab. Cross is my back arm, cross, front, cross. Six jabs. Now, we're not just gonna throw this arm, because I don't just want Arm weight moving forward. We're going to step with that front arm as we jab six times. Here we go. Other arm's going to stay up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jump switch. Right arm now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice work. All right. So now let's get back to those circles. I want to try with all of you. We were just looking at stepping with those circles. Now, I want to add a rear crossover and work on uh, unwinding out of it. Here's what this is going to look like. I'm going to go from the side here. My back leg is going to step behind me. Now, I'm going to unwind. So, you're going to feel, if you're, if you're asking Sensei, which way do I unwind? Well, I'm already wound up this way. I can't unwind this way unless I pick up my feet. But, if I just let my hips naturally turn, oh, that one wants to unwind. So, first we're going to do five, just the footwork. Then we're going to add our, our body. And here's the fun part. We get to add a strike on both parts of that wind up and unwind. So here we go, one, cross, unwind, 
And let me show you that cross from the front real quick. Here's my neutral. See both feet have their lane. Even when I take my cross, both feet have their lane. My front foot, or was my front foot, remains flat, and the foot that steps forward is going to use the ball, the foot, the heel comes up. My back still needs to be straight, and my shoulders and my hips in alignment. So we have two. Cross, unwind, step back. Three, cross, unwind, step back. Four, cross, I'm keep my guard up, unwind. And five, cross, unwind. This should also be a little bit of a leg workout. Because I'm not up here, I'm dropping down low. I'm only about a finger's distance away from the ground with that knee. Now, let's put some strikes in. We're gonna use our hammer strikes in our wind up and our unwind. So as I wind up and I step with the, the, the foot behind me, this front arm is gonna hit with the hammer. What's my back arm doing? Check, that's right. Now I'm gonna switch as I unwind. Which arm's working? Unwind, there we go. Step back to reset. Step hammer, unwind hammer with the check. Reset. Rear cross, unwind, reset. Two more. Rear cross, unwind. One more for safety. Rear cross, pow, unwind, pow. Good. Now we got to get that the other side moving. So whichever side you just worked. We're going to go the opposite. My right's going to rear cross now. So just try with the legs. Don't worry, we're going to get to the upper body in a second. I want to give your mind a break to break up those two parts. So one rear cross. Now, take a second. Hmm. If I try to go this way, it's tight. I can't go that one more. So I'm going to unwind the other way. Reset. Step cross. Unwind. Two. Reset. Step, cross, unwind, three, reset. Step, cross, four, unwind, reset. And step, cross, five, unwind, reset. Now let's get those hammers working. So, my front arm again is going to hit first with that check. And then I'm going to unwind with the opposite arm. Step back. Hammer, unwind cross, reset. Hammer, unwind, reset. Hammer, unwind, reset. Last one, hammer, unwind, reset. Nice. If you had trouble with that, remember, you can always break it down and just do the footwork. I can just practice rear cross, unwind. I can just put one arm in there and not worry about the other arm. Or not worry about one arm and put the other arm in there. You can always break them up and if they're tricky techniques, take them piece by piece. All right, everybody come on back up, horse dance. We're gonna hit those, those start blocking again. Ready, and upward, inward, outward, downward, check. Pressing ball, upward, inward, outward, downward, check, pressing ball, good, doubles, up, in, out, down, check, palm, shake it out, all right, I want to do one more round of dice before we really get into uh, some technical ideas, so let's look at our exercises again, here we go, 30 seconds, of squats. Ooh, get some legs in there. Great exercise for legs and for core. All right, 30 seconds are on the clock. I'm for today, I'm going to add a little bit of upper body and I'm going to work on some double punches and then double back fists. So I'm going to go. Double punch when I drop, double back on the way up. Double punch, 
double, double back fist. But I'm still bending really deep. I'm still keeping that back straight. I don't want to let the back bend over this way, and I don't want to let my heels come up. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. And go. Uh, Make sure you're breathing. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake that up. One more round of basics and numbers. So blue dice, orange dice. Here we go. Two crosses again. All right. So we're going to mix these crosses up a little bit on this one. And we're going to do vertical punch crosses. So instead of letting my fist rotate out the whole way, I'm going to do my cross in a vertical punch. We're going to do two on each side. Let's get in that left neutral bow again. My other hand's up to keep me protected. I'm going to rotate as I hit. Ready? One, two, switch. One, two, switch. Ready? Two more each. One, two, switch. One, two, good. Come on back up. Nice work so far. So now we're going to get a little bit trickier with those circles. We're going to take the same idea we've been working on, but now instead of keeping that back foot on the ground, like we did in the beginning, we're going to lift that knee up. I'm going to imagine that there's a fence right next to me here, right next to my head. And I have to lift my knee up to go up and over that fence. So from here, I'm still going to land forward, but my knee has to go up and over to land. Here we go. We're going to do five, just like that. And one, up and over. Reset. Two, up and over. Reset. Three, up and over. Reset. Four, up, over. Reset. Five, up and over. Here's the challenge. Those of you who are already really good at your balance, this will be a challenge for those of you who are still working on it. We're going to try to get the, that leg the whole way back to where it was. So if you watch me from the side, my, my back leg here is going to go over one fence and then over the second fence back down to where it was. There's the challenge. Five, just like that. Ready? And one. Up, over, back. Two. Up, over, back. Three, up, over, try to land in the same spot. Four, and five. Good. So, a couple tricks when we're doing spins, and I'm going to show you what we use these for in a second. But one, remembering to keep that, that eye in front of you. Two, my plant leg. Flamingo leg, plant leg. I want to make sure not to lift this up. That's going to bring my weight out of the ground. I'm going to screw it down into the ground. So i got to keep that knee bent. Three, my posture. If I start leaning one way or the other, when I spin, the lean is going to tilt me in that direction. Now, before we get to that other side, here's our application. So we saw the upper body when we were keeping our feet planted on the ground or when we were using our twist to unwind. When I lift my knee up, now I'm setting up for what? Kicks, absolutely. So that is my flamingo that I can use for my side or for my back, depending on whenever the circle turns into the line. So let's switch sides. Whichever leg um, you used last time, we're gonna use the opposite leg. For me, 
That's going to be my right foot. So this time, we're just going over the fence and landing forward. We're not going back to where we started. Ready? And one. Up and over, down. Two. Up and over, down. Three. Up and over, down. Four. Up and over, and five. Up and over. Good. Now, the challenge. Bring that leg up and over, but the whole way where it started. Notice, I'm not turning towards the front of me. I'm turning towards my back to get that circle. Here we go. One. Whole way around. Two. Good. And spot when you're trying to see that, that place in front of you as soon as you turn. Three. Up and over and around. Four. Up and over. And five. Up and over and around. Good. Woo! Shake that out. Nice. So there's a little bit of exploration on our circles with our leg movements. Now, here's how you can start having fun with that. I can start putting together my upper body with my lower body. Or the other way around. I can start putting together my lower body with my upper body. You can explore your twists with that, your uh, connected spins, or your lifting spins. And then it's your science lab of what kicks and punches you want to uh, uh, take apart and, and put together. All right. Let's come on back up. Let's hop into our horse stance. I want to get some strikes and then I'm going to explore some targeting today. So targeting is where we get. So first, let's take some, some good old front tuck, two knuckle punches. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring one of our box out so that we all have a target here. Now, who misses this guy? A good old bully here. I want to put this in front of the screen because I want to give a chance for all of you to aim for Bob's solar plexus, which if you want to find your own solar plexus and see where your targets are on your body, it also helps finding them on others. The bones that protect your chest, that protect your back, those are your ribs, right? They protect your lungs, your heart. If I go down to where that soft spot is, right at the bottom of the middle of my ribs, that's my solar plexus. It's about the size of my fist, and I can feel it just by tapping right there. So I want everybody to aim while we're doing these punches on the screen for Bob the Bully's solar plexus. Here we go. And I'm going to punch him out right next to you here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to take our back fists. So our back fist is going to come out and see how I make my knuckle, uh, what is accented there. So now I want you to aim for Bob's temple. The temple is right at the side of the head. You can feel it on yourself a little bit above your eye before your forehead. It's almost like there's a little dent right there. And there's a bunch of nerves in there that are really sensitive. And we're going to fit our knuckle right in there. So let's all aim for, for, for Bob's temple in the screen. Don't hit your screens. Make sure you're still far enough away. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So now let's move to some kicks. We're going to go back to the solar plexus, but I want you to use that front ball kick. And I want you to aim your front ball kick right to the center of that box target there. Pulling the toes back. Now, what did we do today 
we did our instep, right? That's the one that flaps up. This one should hit out and forward. Ready? We're going to start with our right leg. We're going to do 10 on each leg. One, two, boom, three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one. Good. Jump switch. Other foot now. One, two, three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shoot that out. Roll up. So now let's open up the hands. We look at closed hand strikes with our front two knuckle. That was a straight line strike. We looked at back fist. That was a circle. Let's open up the hand into our chop. What's our primary target for the chop? The neck. But not just the neck, a very specific part of the neck. We're going for the side and the side. The front is a very dangerous target. We, we usually never, never, never use that one. We might only use that one on adult strangers that are putting us in physical danger. So we're gonna aim for the side here, and we're gonna use cross chops. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. So instead of lifting up to the side and going in, we're gonna go the whole way across like we're at a pitch at the back of our ear, and we're gonna go out. So it's gonna look like this, cross, chop, cross, chop. And see how I'm not hitting sideways, I'm not hitting straight up and down, I'm finding an angle for those hits. So ready? We're gonna hit Bob on the side of the neck on this one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's keep those hands open. Let's get our, our, our palm strike. But let's add a little bit of something after the palm strike. After we palm on this one, we're gonna get our tiger's claw and we're gonna rake. Now, where would be a good place for the rake? If you said eyes, absolutely. Fingers, fingers can fit in there and we have a chance to stop the sight for a little bit of, of our attacker. So we're gonna hit and then we're gonna rake. Hit, rake. So let's get those, those uh, weapons ready. Uh, one more before we start. What is that first target that we're hitting with the, uh, the palm? That's gonna be the jaw. Now, let's talk about the jaw for a second. There's the front of the jaw. That can be a great target if you hit the head back. Just like if we want our own posture strong, we can affect our, our attacker's posture. But so are the sides of the jaw here. We can take out one of the weapons by turning them sideways and affecting what? Their width. Or at a really sensitive part of that jaw that's on the side there. So you have a couple options on this one. To make everybody uniform in the same, let's do this. When I hit with my right, I'm going to think about hitting that right side of the jaw and raking. Hit and rake. Hit and rake. So I'm going to go. The same side jaw as my arm, opposite side rake. Here we go. And one, hit, rake. Two, rake. Three, rake. Four, rake. Five, rake. Six, rake. Seven, rake. Eight, nine, ten. Nice. Let's go back to the feet because we did lots of hands so far. Let's look at our roundhouse kick. So roundhouse are usually going to be to the sides here, especially a, a, a practical application. If you can kick to head height on somebody your own height, awesome. But we can also kick lower and bring the head down. So let's make this target the ribs. Now, there's a very special part of the ribs both on the front 
and on the side that we call the floating ribs and the lung meridian. The lung meridian lines up with the solar plexus and goes along that horizontal line along the ribs. And the floating ribs are on the side. You can feel those bottom ribs on your side and they squish in just a little bit because they're not connected to the rest of those strong bones of your ribs. So we're gonna aim for those floating ribs on the lung meridian to the side and to the side of our box using what part of the foot? The instep, the top part of our foot. So, whichever leg you start on, if I'm starting on my right leg, I'm gonna kick Bob over to that right side. That's what I'm imagining. If I'm starting with my left leg, I'm gonna kick Bob over to that left side. We're gonna kick with you. Here we go. 10 on each shot. One, two, pop, three, boom, four, pop, five, pop, and five, boom, four, boom, three, boom, two, pop, one, boom. Good, let's switch legs. Same thing on the other leg. And one, boom, two, pop, three, four, five, six, four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. Nice work. All right. Um, one more last strike, and let's make it a fun one with the upper body. We're going to do a double strike. So those of you who are working on short form three or long form three or your blue belt techniques, you learn what we call a U-punch, which is a little double punch here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be punching a back two knuckle punch and a front two knuckle punch at the same time. And it's like a sideways U or a, a, a C. What we're going to be aiming for is the solar plexus and the chin. And how we're going to do this punch is we're going to step and we're going to punch. So my step is going to be my lower. My back arm is going to be my upper. And there's my U. Pow. Pow. So low target, solar. High target, knuckles to the chin. Here we go. Let's start with our right side. And one. Pow. Good. Two. Boom. Three. Boom. Four. Pow. Five. Pow. Six. Boom. Seven. Boom. Eight. Boom. Nine. Boom. Ten. Boom. Switch sides. One. Pow. Two. Pow. Three. Pow. Four. Pow. Five. Pow. Six. Pow. Seven. Pow. Eight. Pow. Nine. Pow. And ten. Pow. Nice work. Thank you, Bob. We're gonna we're gonna let you rest for now. You got beat up enough over our, our Zoom lesson here. So to to finish today, I want to look at uh, an orange belt technique that uh, is known around the world in Kempo, our, our martial arts that we study. It's five swords. We had a request for it uh, uh, on Monday, and we didn't get a chance to explore it too much. So we're gonna we're gonna look at it a little bit today. So five swords. The idea is a really big circle coming in, wild swing with the arm. Wild swings, as Kempo's, if we study a lot, are great because they're really big and they're really telegraphed. That means there's a lot of time with the wind up of this arm to say, hey, I'm punching you. Now, since there's a lot of time, that means it has a lot of, of power it can build up. And we want to meet that force with force. So our first move is going to be a step in with a sword and a hammer, pop. Hammer's going to the bicep, and sword is going to the wrist. Nice, let's all look at that first move together. 
So I'm gonna mirror all of you. I'm gonna step, chop and hammer. Oh, switch over here, chop and hammer. Now we got it, that's the mirror. And go, pow, both hands, that's it. Go, pow. I can even, if this is really tricky, if you're a white belt and you're still getting this movement, could I make them both hammers or both chops? Yeah, that would work for now. The reason why is, actually everybody, take your wrist, Take a chop. This is a good little experiment when you don't have a partner to, to work with. Do not hurt yourself, but feel, what does that chop feel like on your wrist? It should sting a little bit. So now, imagine that's the other person punching you, and that's what you have a, the ability to do with that chop. Notice, though, I'm not using my fingers. I'm not using the top part of my hand. I'm using the bottom of my hand to hit with. Yep. Now, take it and close it up. And we're gonna look at our bicep. So above the elbow, ooh, I really make muscle. That muscle that pops up there, that's your bicep. Take your hammer, this one's not gonna take a lot, so go light on this one. That's a nice little sting there. So you can imagine both of those weapons, your sword out on the wrist and your hammer hitting at the same time. If we're stepping in and we're really making that attack, that might be the end of the technique because that arm's gonna go like this right now. But let's put that back in. So we have step, hammer with the chop. Good, reset. Step, hammer with the chop. Reset. Step, hammer with the chop. Good. Now from here, we're gonna do a little bit of hip rotation. The hips are gonna rotate the whole way forward and both of these hands are gonna move with it. I'm gonna have two open hands. Chop, palm. Now this hand goes low. Let's try that again. Ready, step. Hammer chop, chop, palm. Good, one more time. Step, hammer chop, chop, palm. Now I know whenever I'm in a forward bow, I can get torqued by going back into my neutral bow. That's it. Now we're using an uppercut or back two knuckle punch for the second one into the solar plexus floating ribs. So let's try that whole thing. Let's talk about those targets. We've got our hammer to the bicep, sword to the wrist. Now sword to the neck that we were just looking at. Palm. We're gonna hit the side of the chin, just like we were doing with our rake. Guess what? Can you put a rake here at the end of that palm? 100% you can. Now this punch is going either to the solar plexus or that lung meridian we were talking about. Now, here's something that gets tricky with everybody. When we go into this punch, a lot of people wanna bring this punch back because we get so used to chamber. We've gotta get used to checking now. Let's see what else is out there. And this also sets me up to fire again. I've got my chop and my chop. So let's look at that one more time. We've got hammer chop, chop, palm, punch. This back leg is gonna step up the circuit. So if you imagine there's a plus sign coming out of my head, one going forward, one going backwards, and two going to the side, I'm going in between that sideways and that backwards plus sign as I chop. And then I'm gonna unwind that last chop. Here's what the technique looks like on a bad guy. So, let's, let's do this first. I'm gonna have Miss Carrie face the same way you guys are facing, and I'm gonna be the bad guy, so I'm almost facing you. So we've got, pow, there's the block. There's the chop, boom, punch, off, off. Let's take another angle of that. Don't worry, we're gonna slow it down again. So we've got, block, chop, boom, punch, pow. Let's look at one more angle. Pow, pop, pop, pow, boom, boom. Now, some of you, like, like Owen might be saying, that's a lot of moves, Sensei, to remember. <laughs> but remember what we talked about on that hit to the arm. 
if you if you use your proper weapons on the target, it might be done right on that first strike. It might have to go until that palm strike, but if you know how to palm strike with power with that forward bow, it might end there. So one more time, let's all do this together. I want everybody to try, even if you get lost, try to do this with me. Step with your blocks. Good, is everybody moving over there? One, two, I'm alternating my arms. Three, four, good. Cross over on guard, last time before we finish with something fun. Ready, step hammer, block, chop, palm, punch, chop, chop. Cross over on guard, good. All right, so I'm gonna bring everybody's video up for this last section so I can watch and see if everybody's doing it. I want everybody to get in a horse stance. Horse stance, go. Oh, there we go. Max's size ready. Other Max is ready. Gonzalo's ready. Now, I want you to do 100 front two knuckle punches, 100. Make them all strong with the biggest key eye you have at the end. Yep. Ready, get set, and go.